Uh, hello folks, uh, this is Kiki, uh, doing uh, Let's Play Army Man Part 3. And uh, from the uh, mission thing, is, uh, we apparently be heading towards a tan POW camp. Oh, uh, this is uh, kind of where, as you notice, things are getting darker and darker and darker, which means things are harder to see. And uh, uh, when we get to the POW camp, it looks like it'll be purely nightfall. Uh, as you can tell there, that's a med kit in front of me. And it's rather hard to see, but I don't need the med kit right now, so I'm trying to avoid touching it. And I'm trying to hope that there's another way around because the bridge looks kind of scary with that uh, helicopter there. Uh, well, I found this here and I see a guy there. Uh, so I'll try to snipe him. And uh, apparently he's not falling down. So I'm going to keep shooting at him some more. And uh, I believe I see a guy there. So I think I see a guy there. Yeah, there's a guy there. I don't see anything else though, but there is a guy there. So, I don't know why he's not dying, but I'll try this again. And I'll keep trying a little more. Now let's see if I can get a little closer because maybe the guns aren't rendering. Well, no, it's giving me a lock on. Uh, as, as you can tell there, obviously, the thing is locking on. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't die or something. Who knows? But, uh,. Uh, just like just looking at it again see he definitely is still there see right there crouched uh, you can definitely hit him in the head so I don't know why he's not falling over but that's just uh, leave it alone for now I guess all we can go to is go to the bridge And I'm a little confused. Uh, once again, see that's see the black textures there it covers a lot of uh, foliage and map territory areas, so you can't really tell your path. Uh, if you press select, it'll do a map screen mini map. But like I said, it's just too dark to see where you're going, and this becomes a problem uh, in the next map, obviously because. At the rate it's going, uh, it'll probably be pure dark on the next level. Which means that I won't have a clue about anything about where I'm going. Anyway, uh, as you can see, there's a helicopter. Oh, there's a guy trying to uh, dash across the bridge. And a few other people are popping out of nowhere trying to get me. And I'll be trying to take out this uh, helicopter with my rifle. At least that's what you can do with the Sarge's Heroes line. And I think Army Man 3D is you can take out helicopters with your uh, with your regular gun. And a couple other guys spawned across the river. Uh, they slowly trickle in. So just, you know, do, just be patient with it. And apparently, I mean, it locks on, and yet it doesn't lock on. So, it's like it's giving me a viable target, and then it's not giving me a viable target. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, but let's try to get on the bridge and see if we can take it out now. And there's the guy who spawned there all of a sudden, and then there's another guy that spawned right there. And now the helicopter is shooting me, so I can't run away and splat. Mission failed. <laughs> Ouch. Let's try this with no with less fail this time. Uh, 
Uh, pretty much the only thing that, uh, and doggone, I'm trying to get my microphone speaker to go up more, so if I, so I apologize in advance for the little puffs and whatnot. I, I was trying to turn my microphone mic louder because, uh, people was telling me in, uh, MSN and whatnot, uh, like Merjet and uh, Palace and them, where uh, sometimes would say that my my mic would be a little too low, so trying to turn it up a bit. Anyway, let's try this round two with the helicopter. Well, see, look, right, right there, it's locking onto it, so it's saying that it's a target, but yet it's not doing any damage to it. Maybe it just you can't take out helicopters with the, with the machine gun. Who knows? And now we got some spawners, so we can take out those annoying guys that jumped us before on the bridge. Basically, that's one of the good things with Army Man is at least if you can go so far enough, you can trigger them without him being too scary. That's for all the Army Men, pretty much. See, look at that. It's, it's giving me a lock on, and yet no and I'm going to try it. oh he's really tearing me up now and so I'm like near dead so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that med kit right there I don't know you can barely see it but it's there but it only healed me up to half health and there still is no other way around I have to cross that bridge and that there's no bazookas, no anything on the side of the bridge to take out the helicopter. Which I guess means that the game expects you to just run right across the bridge and hopefully uh, take everything out. Anyway, just to see if I can drop them this time. So you know, I can't drop down, so you're intended to cross the bridge. That's kind of stupid. But nothing he can help, I guess. But, uh, like I said, t uh, take a look at some of the graphical details on the buildings and uh, kind of like the little guard towers, different sized guard towers, and how they use the sandbags and stuff. It definitely encourages stuff for. Like I said, why didn't 3DO bother to do like a first-person shooter for this? It, uh, there's a lot of aspects from from this and the other games that they definitely could have made it made a lot of good maps off of. It would have been fun, and entertaining, or had some some sort of uh, player-controlled uh, item. I mean, you know, building stuff and whatnot, like Savage or whatnot style gameplay. I mean, we'll bomb rush across it and see how far we go. And we didn't get very far. We got past the helicopter at least. So now we know what to do. We're expected to bum rush. Hopefully this isn't the fail this time. And this will be death count three so far. That's really kind of silly they made him run across like that, though. Anyway, basically it's going to be the same long, like same way like the second run of just uh, take pop out a few, just kind of trigger the enemies, back off. Uh, the helicopter won't engage you when you, uh, when you only get, you only have, you have to be so far inside the bridge before the helicopter will start engaging you. See, like I said, it auto targets, so I don't know why you can't kill it this way. Kind of makes no sense, but uh, what can you do? Anyway, we'll go ahead and do a suicide rush and see if we can get past this thing. Really painful. And luckily, there is an auto target system, so it's not as painful, but it is annoying.
you know, just keep charging through here. Wait a minute, what the heck? There's another one that just doesn't drop. Are they like dummy targets or something? Huh. Guess they're dummy targets. See, look at that. Yeah, I guess they're just dummies. That's kind of silly. Anyway, oh, there's a bazooka. So at least uh, now we have a means of taking out that helicopter. Oh, and there's a motorbike here too, in case you didn't notice. So we'll go ahead and clear our way out. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm all of a sudden darting back, all of a sudden it's because the chopper likes to fly around here too. Uh, you can you can start hearing the chopper getting louder and louder and louder as you go along there. He'll only go so far, and then he'll go back to the bridge location. Now we got. Now we picked up some hand grenades and we picked up some bazooka ammo, but we still got a few leftovers we gotta get rid of. And like I said, I'm hearing the chopper a lot louder, so uh, I, I think it's starting to chase after me or something at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide behind these trees here. Hopefully, it doesn't see me. And it might try to take it out from the bridge. I don't know what that green dot is supposed to represent either. Like some sometimes the green dots mean either interactable or uh, means uh, places that I mean are like green allies or like I said, or things interactable, and I don't see either the case here, so I don't know what the green dot's for. Could be a waypoint counter. Uh, and apparently the helicopter has flown to where I was at earlier. And we'll go ahead and see what that green dot was about. I don't see anything. And, uh... Basically, that was just a screen break. So, okay, we got six bazookas. Six uh, bazooka shots to take this helicopter out. Now, usually in army man fashion, it's anywhere from one to four. And uh, that's the first one. Sometimes it's like one to three. Sergeant's Heroes, it's normally two. Uh, I've seen some with three. And I've seen some in other games where it's like either one to two shots as well. And there it goes. Yeah, that one that just disintegrates. It doesn't uh, do its uh, still down and then slam into you and auto kill you. Nonsense. This just blows up in the air. A little bit better. Well, now that the helicopter's done, let's go look around and see what the blue green dot is again. Make sure. Didn't forget anything. Look at the waterfall. Just kind of look around. Okay, there was another med kit around here too. I don't remember where it was. But it's on this side of the river. I think it's where the bazooka and stuff is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was just a little bit before the bazooka. And there's a the target still there, who's kind of... You know, with an army man game, you never know when enemies are going to spawn on you. You could be just fine, and all of a sudden you got a whole flood of them coming at you. Even if you've just already cleared a section. But, uh... No, see, there's one in that tower. See, I told you what... Oh, actually, there's two of them in that tower. See? Even though you cleared everything, there's still leftovers. Anyway, this will be Kiki signing out for uh, Let's Play Army Man World at War Part 3. Uh, thank you.